Correct that. I'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. It's happy Thanksgiving and all. I mean, we got we got the, you know, your body guy, NBA, uh, baseball players and all that, but uh, the schools. What's up with the schools? Talking about in Baltimore City closing schools. Monday, December the 2nd, 5.30 at Digital Harbor, there's a meeting. Right after Thanksgiving, people still hung over with the turkey and the gravy and won't show up. And I, and, and, and I, don't, I, I don't have a, a great feeling about this meeting on Monday, 5.30. Are you talking about the meeting in terms of closing the schools with Bluford, or are you talking about just... That's it. Yeah, well, one of the issues with our city, or with any city uh, throughout the country, is current involvement, and current participation. What people don't realize is the impact that schools, when they close, have on not only communities, but what they have on families. But this is ongoing, Kevin. It seems to be also, also a national problem, because some of the property tends to be of value. I don't know if you the property? Some of the property tends to No be question. Property. If they close down Walbrook High School up in the junction, that's an economic engine. Right. I'm, if you recall, they were going to close at some time ago when Bonnie Copeland was the superintendent. They were close. They were talking about closing Western and Powell until the alumni showed up in mass to stop. I, I'm not understanding. Everybody's talking about a billion dollars, 1.1 billion dollars in new school construction repairs money. What difference, what schools they gonna repair? Well, I don't know if it's gonna be in repair or if it's gonna be in not down. They're closing schools. Absolutely. I don't understand. And it goes to show you how important education as a priority happens to be in our community. Because for me- Well, what about these people we keep voting for? I'm talking about the school board. How did you call? Didn't you help? Oh, oh didn't you help open Bluford Drew Jemison's STEM Academy yes, for Black boys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And because we realize that it's easier to educate, to incarcerate, and we put books over balls. Kevin, they closing why. the school for Black boys in a majority Black city, where it's more likely for a young man to go to prison than to college. I don't Absolutely. understand. Absolutely. Is that not? Is that not a nine one one? It's a crisis, and it's always been a crisis, and the Black male has always been under threat. And I think that's why we created the school to help preserve our African. Oh, okay, okay. Here's another question. Right. Now, usually, if you mention something about Republicans in Maryland, you get booed, right? Aren't the people in Maryland Democrats? Aren't the people in Baltimore? Democratic state. Isn't this a nine-to-one Democratic town? This is a Democratic state. Well, what's the difference? I thought Democrats are our friends. They are our friends. How are you closing schools and you pushing prisons down my throats? I, Am I missing something? <laughs> you, you closing schools and you opening prisons. How's that, my friend? Well, I young think black again, boys going to prison. Again, I think the community is going to have to really step up and have a greater voice. Yeah, okay, it's too late for that school. Be, yeah, well, it's over. It's over. It's, it's, it's pretty much a done. Isn't day. that a tragedy? It is a tragedy. We come out and vote it for Barack me. Obama. It hurts me, Don, because I am a co-founder. I actually was the person who helped put that school together. And it's like I've got a child who was murdered, who was assassinated. It really hurts me because I understand the mission and vision. I also understand that our black boys are under attack. And if we don't do anything about it, and you, the school you were doing something of, with a school like this. The school was a part of the intervention because again, we understood it was better to educate than incarcerate. That we put books over balls. So we made it an option for our boys to look at science, technology, engineering, and math, and not just to look at sports, but to look at other options because everybody's going to not make it in sports, and so we knew that. But when you begin to look at the history of the school, it was a high-performing school, particularly in, in the first few years, it was performing right behind Kip Academy, and the boys were doing extremely well. We begin to look at their dress, we begin to look at their articulation, we begin to look at uh, how they perform in science, technology. So who says the school isn't worth keeping open? Okay, so they changed well, the management. That's a, decision, that's a decision that rests at North Avenue. Who are these people at North Avenue that would close the school for black boys? Well, maybe that's the interview you need to hold with those folks. Who do I need to go and see? Well, you'll probably need to see the school board uh, president. You may have to go talk to the CEO of schools. And it's a Democratic town, 9 to 1. They keep telling me to vote for the Democrats. Yeah, okay. Okay, Mr. Kevin, anything you want to add, Mr. Parson? Well, I mean, I think if we're going to talk about empowering our boys... I'm, I'm disgruntled. I'm, I'm, right. dis, I'm distraught. Right. If we're going to talk about empowering our boys, people in this town can't sit around with laryngitis when it comes to educating youth in this town. But all these people saying they want to run for office on June 24th. 
That's right. You should not be hearing from them right now. Shouldn't the community hear from the same people that say they want to run for office in June? Yeah, on the issue of education and particularly on the issue of closing schools, particularly in communities where schools need to be vibrant, I think you should be hearing from them. And this whole issue of education has always been my plight. Fighting for young people, fighting for education in Baltimore City has always been something I've done. If anybody wants to check my record, you know, it's a public record around education. So it's what I stand on, it's what I stand by. All right. All right. Keep watching bemorenews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.